So hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to this code. And um, the next thing we want to do is to install and set up this Laravel generator. It is called, um, it works on Laravel 5.5, 5.1, 5 2, 3, 4, and 5. So um, we'll see if it can work perfectly and seamlessly on Laravel 6. So you see, um, once you set this to Laravel 5.5, then you can everything it works for Laravel 5.5 what this package does is it helps us to generate our html css the forms everything so that we don't have to do that manually now but we need to go and confirm the version of our laravel so if you go back to your app and um, scroll down down till you see composer.json you click on it and uh, you see laravel framework the version we're using is what laravel 5.6 so we're going to try and install this on Laravel. This this is for Laravel 5.5. We'll try and run it on Laravel 5.6. If it fails on Laravel 5.6, then we, can, we have to come here and change the number back to 5.5, just so that this will work because this will save us a lot of um, effort or headache. So the first thing is um, this thing to install it. You have to visit to open this page. You have to visit labs. Dot That is i n f y o n dot com slash laravel generator slash docs slash 5.5 installation so you need to have a visit this url all right now um you have visited this url this page will open uh, this is a very incredibly powerful tool i think it's the best i've used the best package i've used in laravel ever so we have to copy this go to this file look for this section require and paste these so we are going to copy this go to we are already in composer of json we're looking for the required section you see name description type required this is the section we're looking for so you put a comma here hit enter paste what we copy so we now have this here now the next thing we're going to do you can find installation steps for okay in case you're using any other version of laravel you can click any of these links to see the installation steps then next is that we have to add um, I'm expanding this so you see the next is that we have to add this dev master swagger generator this one is for generating API documentation so we go there and uh, put a comma hit enter paste and we're good check the full installation process here whatever if you want to use uh, generate from from table yes and this is the main this is the main thing we want to use so we are going to install doctrine debug copy get back to this place and add it always make sure that you put a comma all right uh after doing that we have to run composer updates if you run composer update composer will come to this file and reinstall everything here so we have to go to our our, our command prompt paste composer updates Hit enter and of course this requires internet connection so it could take anywhere from one minute to five minutes okay while it's running um, we have to go to a config config folder the app.php and add this under the service providers we we'll copy this go to a config look at the config folder on the app folder we, we will look for this the service provider this one is debug this is url uh, time zone we'll just keep scrolling so we we'll see providers look at providers you see so these are all the providers i can add it at the bottom i can come here paste you see so it works well for me uh, just to make it align properly drag this uh, move this makes sense all right i just expanded the screen so you can see it better the font size all right so the next thing we're going to see is add alias so we'll go under the same file we'll see the aliases section we'll have to add these aliases i'll copy three of them scroll down to alias you see the aliases section i'll come to the bottom here hit enter and add it oh cool so far so cool 
then we have to publish vendor you run php artisan vendor publish hit enter copy and then we have to come here uh, our composer is still running so basically i'll have to pause this video when the composer is finished running we'll now publish vendor and continue